Welcome, this is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support, and this is video 5 of the butt welded elbow fitting. Notice I changed the name from the previous one. Um, and here's the description of the issue. Pause the video if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. So, where we left off, we had to translate the values you know, into what our long radius elbow dimensions are going to use. So I've already copied 0.25 all the way down and we've got a formula here and I'm just going to stretch this formula all the way down. So now these values should be what we're going to use in the long radius elbow for these given nominal diameters and we'll just kind of have to gauge what the values are for any nominal diameter less than one um, so now let's close out of here and go back into content builder and let's change this to a long radius elbow and go modify our part sizes all right so now you can see how this dimension includes that flange length there and that's why we added that quarter inch in there um, and we need to come here to the size parameters right click edit values I'm gonna scroll upwards here so these two sizes are the sizes that the short radius elbow are, is not including you'll notice that they're these values are the same as the one inch so it may be okay to assume that from our spreadsheet here that they're going to be the same value um, so let's go in and modify them real quick and I'm gonna change this to be one we may need to check and see which one of these are formulas and which ones are not so let's look at the parameter configuration come over here to length A4 and 5 are calculations so let's go look at the formula for those expand on modeling and we're going to look at the model parameters A4 and A5 equals CT CTOE. Okay. So CTOE is the value that we need to change. Go back here to edit values. So if we double click on this one, it's going to allow us to change it. Good. And notice it jumps on us, so just keep an eye when your row jumps like that. See that? Kind of, it can easily get tripped up. So that was up to one inch, and a quarter, inch and a quarter, was inch and a quarter. You know what? I'm seeing a pattern, so why don't we just follow that pattern? basically CTOE equals the nominal diameter uh, let's look at the 45 degrees I imagine that's going to be the same there and rather than typing all these values in I'm going to come up here to model parameters and say CTOE equals D1 so we're going to edit that and click on CTOE if it'll let me there we go it'll add me I think the video is taking up all the resources and so it's just thinking yeah, it lets me when I pause the video. So anyway, we're going to change this to a variable equal to D1.